Hey, what is going on everybody out there? This is Jake James Lugo, senior editor here at thecoalition.com and I got a brand new unboxing and impressions video for you guys here on the Coalition YouTube channel. We're gonna ta be taking a look at the Snakebike Twin Charge for the PlayStation 4 DualShock controller. So, as you guys can see here, this is from Snakebite. They actually sent this to me recently, so big shout outs to them, but we're gonna unbox this thing, take a look at what it has to offer, see exactly what it's all about. Now, if you guys have been following the channel for quite a while, make sure that you guys leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you guys have been enjoying all of our unboxing videos and all of our impressions stuff and all the other content we've been posting up on the channel. We've been doing a lot ever since we got back from PAX East. There's been a whole bunch of stuff, including new interviews and a whole bunch of other great things. But either way, before we get to the other stuff, let's take a look at this thing. Now, I'm unboxing it now. The Snakebike Twin Charge 4. Again, this is a charger for the PlayStation 4 controllers that allows you to charge them up. Uh, very similar to the Nika ones that I've seen in the past, but either way, let's put that right there to stay on brand, of course. Uh, here we go. I'll pull this out here. Comes with a couple different things now. Here's the unit itself. Looks like a little stand. You can put the two controllers right on here to charge it up. In addition to that, we also got a USB cable. So my guess is, is that because this doesn't plug into the wall, this probably charges up separately on the side or you probably put this into the actual console itself. But we're gonna look at this really quickly. Uh, features, operating, troubleshooting, all this other stuff. Where exactly do we plug it into just to see? Uh, keep it, don't keep it exposed to sunlight. All these different things that they include in these instruction manuals, of course. Uh, got the charging station, the USB cable charger. Uh, charging indicator gl glows red when it's charging. After charge is completed, it'll, it'll turn blue. Uh, connector, standard USB cable to charge the DualShock fork. Uh, put it on there. Okay, so my guess is that this plugs right into the console because it doesn't say in the in the actual uh, was it in the instructions. It doesn't have anything indicated on the box either, but it just says that it charges two controllers and stuff. But either way. Okay, we're gonna try it out anyway and actually see what's up with it. So, any either how, huh? this is the USB controller, comes with, plugs right into the side or the back right over here, which again, I might be right about what I was saying, because there's the little USB connector right here, goes right into the back like this, plugs right into there. Again, I'm not gonna really kind of untie it right now just for the sake of just this video, but as you guys could tell, the base is right there, so let's actually grab a PlayStation 4 controller right here, this PlayStation 4 DualShock controller. Plug this right bad boy right into here, and it goes right on there, which is cool. So, very simple, easy to kind of use. Uh, unlike the Nyko one, the Nyko one actually requires a little separate thing to go into the back of the charger, or the back of the controller. Let's, here's another controller, the gold one that I normally use. I'll put this bad boy right here, so you guys can see that right there, there you go. And this is how it will look. So again, my guess, you plug this right into the back of the console, right to the side where the USB port is, or plug this into another, uh, what is it, AV uh, wall input or wall adapter that could plug right into the wall itself, uh, and then you just plug this right into the back of it. So that way you could charge your stuff, and it would charge your controllers. And the indicator, I believe the indicator, okay, it's on the front here, I can see it on the box. The indicator is right here that'll turn red when it's charging and blue when it's finally charged up completely. So there you go. That is the Snakebite Twin Charge 4. Uh, charging station for the PlayStation 4. Hopefully, you know, you guys got some good insight about this. I'm actually going to be taking a look at some other snake bite, uh, was it uh, accessories and products very soon here on the coalition.com. I've actually been talking with them to see if we can take a look at some other products that you guys could actually get a kick out of. But either way, that's going to do it for this unboxing and impressions video. Remember, leave me a comment down below in the comment section. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any suggestions of products and other stuff that you guys want us to take a look at and feature here on the series, don't forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe to the coalition's YouTube channel for all our videos related to gaming, uh, commentary, interviews, podcasts, event coverage and stuff just like this. With that being said, I will talk to you guys again very soon. Peace out and stay epic, everybody.